happy to have 3,600 students coming out this week over four beautiful days. And uh, this year our programming committee has created some new stations for students. Um, all of our stations are active and interactive. We've got kids running around and enjoying their learning for the day outside in a beautiful setting. And we're just really happy. Today's our French day. So we've got a full day full of French programming with French volunteers and um, all of our French version students are able to come and learn in French for the day. Well, we have the opportunity to educate so many children about uh, the precious resource that water is. Um, we have 900 kids that come each day. They get to experience hands-on learning activities that really teach them about the importance of water in their day-to-day -day lives. Uh, incredible event where we really get to impact the behavior of the children um, and they can become stewards of water for the future generations. I like that there's like things to help the environment that can like save water and stuff. It's a really good place to come if you want to learn about water. A bunch of activities like art. I learn lots of stuff and like that sometimes you can't throw stuff like under the toilets. We've learned a lot about saving water. Uh, I like the variety of different. Yeah. We learn more about how much water we waste yeah. and what we pollute in the water. And there are some pretty fun things that we do and we learn more about them. There's cool activities. <laughs> <laughs> well, our awesome geography teacher, she, usually this is an opportunity for only grade 11s and 12s, but we got the opportunity to come here. We're only in grade nine, and she's she's been doing this for a while now, for yeah. who knows how long, I think maybe 10 years ago she started. So we got this opportunity to come and volunteer, and we Carly came in and she talked to us, and we got to learn about how to teach kids how important it is about conserving water and yeah we just have like two obstacle courses and one of the obstacle courses is a super easy kind of like obstacle where like it's kind of represents a developed country where it's just super easy to just turn on the tap and get some water then for developing countries who have to walk like three hours to get just a bucket of water to provide for their family so so important because not only are the kids learning we've also got a number of high school kids we've also got obviously the adult uh, volunteers uh, so it's it's a real uh, opportunity for our messages to get out on conservation on recycling and uh, yeah we've been involved in every everyone that's obviously been in London and uh, we uh, we're happy to be a big supporter of it we've been coming for uh, multiple years to, to the children's water festival we feel it's really important to teach kids about you know how important water is how we need to protect it how lucky we are to live in Canada have so much fresh drinking water and so it's all it's part of the future if we don't if we neglect our water and abuse it then we won't have it anymore